teach we are to find. So where you lead me, I will go. Touch my lips by your strength, I will go. I will go. And welcome to the Days of Elijah Gospel Explosion. We are so happy to see everyone here tonight. Before we begin singing, please join us in standing for prayer. Dear most kind and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for bringing off all of us here safely tonight. Please bless the proceedings and help it to be a great one. Tune our voices as we're going to sing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Let me, see the, let me see the hands of those who trust God. So tonight we are going to sing, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word.
precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that Thou art with me, will be with me till the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Of the Lord marching to Zion. Come, we that love the Lord.
Everybody walk and talk about Jesus, Jesus name so sweet. Everybody walk and talk about Jesus, Jesus name so sweet. Hallelujah, anyhow, anyhow. Never, never let life troubles get you down. When life troubles come your way, hold your hand up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. standing for the theme song. have the proper posture as we approach the throne of grace. Great, eternal, ever-loving Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your most holy name. Heavenly Father, it is such a privilege to come in your presence under this tent here tonight to proclaim your word. Lord, I come to you today in the name of your son Jesus. Lord, it is a battle that has been fought under the tent. I pray, O oh God, that you are going to be with each and every one of us as your children. As we would listen to the message that comes from your man's servant, I pray, O oh God, that it will not come out from one ear and go to the next. Help us, O oh God, that we are going to really look into ourselves, search ourselves, and live by examples. As you said in your words, 
If we only lift you up, O oh God, you are going to draw all men unto you. And looking at this world today, Lord, we are seeing that we need as your children to really lift you up so that our preacher task can become very easy, Lord. I pray, O oh God, for those of us from the household of faith, Lord, that we will be encouraged to go out and tell others and encourage others as the campaign comes down to an end. So, Lord, that more visitors, more outsiders will be able to come under the tent to listen to your word because as we look at this world today, as we look at this digital system and all that is taking place, it is clear, oh God, that your coming is very, very close. But we as your children, we are not ready. But help us to use the three weeks to really look deep into ourselves, Lord, and help us to live day by day by example. Help us to have love one for another and to encourage one another, Lord. And when the campaign would have done, Lord, we know that Wednesday night is power night. So we pray, God, that your Holy Spirit, night after night, these nine churches, they will bring us back to our churches every Wednesday night where we continue to pray for one another. Please be with the preacher, Lord, as he continue to bring the message, Lord. Give him the clear voice, Lord. And give him all that is needed. Fill him with that double portion of your Holy Spirit, Lord. So that when this final Sabbath will come, we'll see more men, women, and children giving their life to you. Please empower us. Take total care of us. And may you will be done tonight as he preach your good word. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.
and all the time. Come, bong somebody, tell them welcome. Bong somebody, tell them welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. You may have your seats. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. amen. If you're happy and you know it, say hallelujah. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, say praise the Lord. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. God is good. We had a good holiday last yesterday. Yeah, and it was a good day for the holiday because we had rain like crazy yesterday. <laughs> So it could not have been a better time for the holiday to come and for us to have our rest night because rain came like cats and dogs like rain. Whole day, whole day, whole day. But I thank God for his blessings. He gave us a hot day today. Dry up the place and we are back at Megafest 2023. Days of Elijah Gospel Experience. Put your hands together for Jesus, man. Yes, God has been good. God has been good. All right, I don't want to take too much time. Let me get down to business. Remember, we go, we have tonight, we have tomorrow night, we go Friday night and then we end on Sabbath. Tonight is prayer night. Tonight is what night? So we have our prayer tonight. But I got to get down to business quickly. All right, I have some gifts to give tonight. Um, Carisha Philip. Like I say, you have to re- if you register, I only give gifts to people who register with the secretariat. So if you don't hear your name and you've been coming, it's because you have not registered. So Carisha Philip and Skylar Marisho. Or Marisho, I'm not sure. Is that the right thing? All right, so Skylar. Carisha, sorry. Carisha, Sky, and Skyla. Come, please, come, please. Where are you? Where are you? Just wave, just wave. All right, I have a special gift for them tonight. Ushers, just come and give it to them for me, please. Me? Yes, I have the children gift tonight. They have the children gift tonight. They go get the two. They get to two. If you don't get, you'll get it. And is Javion Linton here? Or Javion? Javion Linton? Javion Linton, oi! All right, you're right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just take it. Right, my, 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 boy, my, my boy, right in the corner, there's the orange shirt on him standing right there. Saying, yes, yes, small and powerful. I have a gift as well for Sarah David. Sarah said she entered the Bible. Where's Sarah? Sarah! Yes, yes, this is for Sarah. This is for Sarah. This is for Sarah. This is for Sarah. All right, who else? Who else? Who else on the list? I have a gift there for Joman or Jomaine Alexander. Alexander, oy. all right, all right. Let me get another give one time. I also have a gift for Samantha Lewis. Is Samantha here? and and Anne Maxwin? All right, so keep just stand, just stand. Let we identify you, and let me get the ushers to get the gift for you. Wonderful, 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 wonderful indeed. Wonderful, wonderful. Put your hands together for all of them who made it tonight. We're delighted that they're here. We're delighted that they are here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we have to get down to business. We have a couple of things. To do. Anybody want to visit us tonight? Anybody? Will, remember, this weekend is, is, is the grand finale. No, the person who brought the most will get the gift. All those who brought... Yeah, there's my lady across there standing. I mean, so you got... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right across there, the hat on the head. Uh, anybody want to visit us tonight? Go in once. Yes, Adi, over there. How many did you bring tonight? Let me see your two, please. One. Oh, if you have one, you must have two. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for how we're delighted. Anybody else? Anybody else? Coming across, coming across, coming across, coming across, coming across. Okay, this side done. We're coming on this side. Yes, yes, yes. At the back. How many did you bring? Two. Let me see your two, please. One, two. Solid. I love them. Consistency. Put your hands together for them. We're delighted that you are. You brought them tonight. Yes, my friend. How many did you bring? Two. Let me see your two. Man, if you could bring them two nice one day, I should give you 257 for that. Put your hands together for my girl. We're delighted that you're here. We're delighted. We're delighted. We're delighted that you are here. Anybody else brought visitors? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. You brought, you brought my partner right there? Yes, man. Did you check out shit? Welcome. Welcome. We're delighted that you're here. May God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. We only have two more nights and then Sabbath. So make sure you don't miss a night coming to the end. God bless you real good. Anybody else going once, going twice, going three times? Sold. All right. I need somebody. Yes, my little one. How many you bring? Where are you one? Well, if, you, if you're so small and can bring that one there, she'll give you 207 for that. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. We're delighted. We're delighted that you have come. May God bless you. Real good. May God bless you. Real good. Pastor Hillier, it's good to have you in the house. It's always good to have you in the house. Our personal ministries director, it's always good to have you in the man of God in the house. All right. I, I don't have much time, so let me get down to this quickly. I have, I have some gifts tonight. I have some gifts tonight. Somebody have to run in the back. One of the ushers run behind me. But I, so I, I have three gifts, three gifts to give tonight to start off. Sister Wendy Oi. Oh, she, wait, 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 when you, 
When, when, I can't give you a gift yet. I have to wait till the war start. So let me have the war now. Let me have the war now. All those who dress in orange and want to join the war, come. Come, 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 come. All those who dress in orange and want to see the war, come, want to join the war, come down, come down, come down, come down. Sister Wendy, your competition tonight. Your competition tonight, Sister Wendy. All those in orange, all those in orange, come through. Come through, come through, come through, come through. Male and female, male and female, male and female, male and female. All right, all right, all right. Look, look at them people tonight. Look at them people tonight. I almost think it's All Saints Night. <laughs> like it's November. All right, all right, all right. Who else coming? Who else coming? Join the war. Who else coming to join the war? Who else coming to join? Who else coming to join? Ladies on this side. Ladies down the road. 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 Ladies. Pastor Gideon coming for chainsaw. Pastor Gideon coming for chainsaw. Everything. Raincoat. Everything. 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 No rain coming, but it's still coming in raincoat. So everybody frightened? Everybody frightened now? Everybody frightened? Two male, two female. Anybody else want to join the war? Go in once. Hold on. Somebody else coming? I don't have much time. In. I don't have much time. I don't have much time. But it looks like it's somebody a celebrity because everybody watching outside. Like it's the president that they're expecting. Well, uh, he's a fisherman. Is a fisherman step inside there? Is a fisherman step inside there? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Go close to Sister Wendy. Go close to Sister Wendy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Anybody else joining the war? Now is the time to join the war. All right, okay. I can't wait for nobody else. I can't wait for nobody else. Let me get to there. I can't, we can't wait for nobody else. We can't wait for anybody else. These are the competitors for tonight. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> the thing's sweet. Let me start with the ladies. Let me start with the ladies. Let me start with the ladies. What's your name, my sister? Catherine. Sister Catherine. All of us are Sister Catherine. I don't watch it. Sister Wendy come with blow up thing to swim. All kind of thing, ball and all kind of thing, sister Wendy. <laughs> my wife, my wife told me, Pastor Brent, she told me, Brent, they go throw you out a green day, you know, talking about larger bless and all them kind of thing there on, 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 on Monday night. So I don't know what <laughs> sister Wendy I can't describe sister Wendy tonight. All this for sister Wendy, make some noise. Woi, 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 only not easy, only not easy. So we're coming to the men, we're coming to the men, we're coming to the men, we're coming to the men. Boy, this is going to be tight, boy. This is going to be tight. I don't see that. My fisherman friend, eh? My, 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 my tennis player right there. Woi, 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 woi. My chainsaw man right there. No, nah, no, nah, only, 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 only making it too hard for me. I know Sister Wendy win for the ladies so far. But the men, them, only, it's like the same noise I ain't right through. So, so all you need to choose this day who should you serve. Because I can't give a gift to all three of them. <laughs> Fisherman Day. Yeah. Tennis Monday. Yeah. Whoa, you're making it hard for me, man. Out of the two, who, who have the loudest noise? Fisherman? Yeah. We're going again one more time. Fisherman! Tennis man. Yeah. Oh, Father, have mercy. <laughs> Pastor Elvin again. Brother. Pastor Gittins. Yeah. Well, it looked like. Boy. <laughs> Pastor, Pastor Hille, help me out. Help me out there. Who you think? Who you think? Fisherman, fisherman get it? Fisherman get it? All those who think fisherman get it, make some noise. 
All right, fisherman, 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 come brave, fisherman, come brave. Sister Wendy, come brave. No, I don't got a gift for all of all of you. I can't, I can't give the kind of gift I want to everybody. But at the end of it, sister Wendy, sister Wendy, we can't give you all the champagne, you know, because you don't win three nights. <laughs> Somebody come at the back there for me. Somebody come at the back there for me. And help me doing that. So we under champagne. We give Sister Wendy two champagne. Yeah, yeah. She can get two. And Sister Wendy, you know, you, know, you, you want good? You don't want two? Okay, so I go give you two and you go give the lady another one. Oh, no, wait. No, no, I can't do that because I'll be a liar. Because on the night before, on Monday night, on Monday night, there was a sister next to you who did well. Where she there? She had the glasses. I think it's Andy's sister. Judith. Yeah, Judith best. Judith best. Where Judith there? Judith, come, come, Judith. Come, Judith. Come, Judith. I have to, I have to keep my promises. I have to keep my promises. So somebody got the back there. Yes, 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 yes. Come through, come through, come through, come through. So Pastor Gittins, you get in the one for it's Sunday night, Pastor Gittins one, right? Pastor Gittins, this is yours. This is yours. This is yours. This is yours. Blessings. Now, me fisherman partner there win tonight. Fisherman, fisherman come through. Fisherman. Fisherman don't even know who he is. Yeah. yeah. Fisherman don't know who he is. And on and, 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 and Monday night, my partner have the helmet. Why is everybody come, buddy man? Come ready, boy. Helmet cricketer. People say you, people in St. Vincent say you mad like 10 madmen. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Sister Wendy, where are you? Come, Sister Wendy. Come, Sister Wendy. Come, Sister Wendy. Blessings and peace. Where's Sister Best? Where's Sister Best there? Where's Sister Best? Sister Best, how come you not come in the orange? You haven't got orange? You just like me. Come, Sister Best. Come, Sister Best. Come, Sister Best. And I have to give, I have to give one to my lady here. Yes, yes. Put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her. She did well. 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 Children, yeah. Oh, you give me the orange one time? Yeah. Man, I should I give you win? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yes, wonderful stuff in it. Well, the children, I have you. The children, I promise, gifts on Monday night. I just sorting out your gifts now. I have them already, but we're packaging them. So by tomorrow night, come, you'll get the gifts. The three children from the night before that I promised I would give you your gifts. Tomorrow night. I said tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is purple night. We're going tough. We're going tough. If all you think we're tough, we're making it harder and harder every night. So tonight is orange. You see how some people do have orange? Find purple tomorrow night. I'm telling you, no, you better find some purple tomorrow night. You better come with some purple. You know, the other thing when I was growing up, they had called Mokri Okom. <laughs> yeah. I remember the Mokri Okom? Well, you know everything in Grenada, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you have to come with Mokri Okom. <laughs> and go and paint your clothes in Mokrio come like you look purple. Plan for the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't keep you all night. Tonight's message is when God goes deep. Keep on coming. Bring somebody with you. We're ending strong in Jesus' name. Bring somebody with you. Let God do something mighty for them. Welcome again to everybody. God bless you. I will see you in a while when the subject will be when God goes deep. God bless you. Good night, everyone. Every day they pass me by I can see it in their eyes Empty people filled with care Headed who knows where On they go True private pain, leaving fear to fear. Laughter hides their silent cries. Only Jesus hears. People need.
make his light to a world where wrong seems right what could be too great a cause for sharing who knows what true his love our hearts can feel all the grief they bear they must hear the words of life only we can
Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Oh, God is good. And all the time, our heads are bowed, our eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the night of Mega Fest 2023. We thank you for the lives that have been transformed, the lives touched, the lives, Lord, that you have brought even through the watery grave of baptism. We thank you, Lord, for the hard work of all the team members and all those who've sacrificed much to make Megafest 2023 a reality. We thank you for Pastor Lyons and the team and the vision. Continue to bless them, Lord. Bless him as he continues to lead in youth ministry across this island, that you'd continue to inspire him and lead him into greener pastures, Lord, and may his ministry continue to blossom. I pray, Lord, for all the waiting congregation here, those who are with us tonight, bless our hearts, touch our hearts. May your word find a lodging place within our hearts. May I decrease while you increase. May your word go out with clarity, power, and conviction. And may only heaven get the glory and the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, that all God's people say, amen. amen and amen. You may be seated. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. If you're blessed and you know it, say amen. amen. Come on, if you're blessed and you know it, tell your neighbor, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Tell him, don't be afraid to tell him, say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. You might be stressed, but you're still blessed. <laughs> you may have headache, but you're still blessed. <laughs> Things may not be working on your side, but you're still blessed because God is still in control. Amen. What's the topic for tonight? Come on, talk. What's the topic for tonight? When God goes deep. Uh, tell your neighbor, God still goes deep. Come on, say it with conviction. Take, say it with conviction. Preach the sermon to somebody tonight even before I preach it. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, God still goes deep. God still goes deep. Hear me now. Going deep is something that the current generation is obsessed about. Are you still with me? Everybody has turned a philosopher. Everyone has something, a TikTok video talking about life. Some of them have not even experienced life yet, but they know everything about life. Everyone wants to sound deep. Sometimes you say the most simplistic thing and try to make it sound so sophisticated. <laughs> Allow me to go further and say most precious metals are located deep in the belly of the earth. <laughs> Am I talking truth? Most mines that, that are in existence in the world today go as deep as 4.5 kilometers. To get certain rewards, you need to dig deep. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? The deeper you go into the ocean, the greater the pressure. Am I still making sense? That is why the people them who say they had a submarine the other time and tried to go down and see the Titanic, they could, the vessel could not handle the pressure down there. Are you still home? Not only do, do precious things exist in the deep, but some of the darkest secrets exist in the deep. Mm, if you've not seen where I'm going with this. <laughs> some persons hide stuff deep in barrels. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if it happens in Grenada, Pastor Hille. But some people, when they bring barrel, they get barrel from overseas. What they do, they pack the barrel at the bottom with the... yeah expensive things that they don't want customs officers to see. I hope I'm not selling out anybody here tonight. <laughs> they put down all kind of things down inside. They all kind of expensive gadget, all kind of things, cell phone, all kind of thing. And then they throw a set of clothes and rice and flour and sugar at the top. And, 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 and when you start dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up, you realize it's only rice and flour they have. But when they go home, they say, yes, we dodge a bullet. If they had only go one more foot deep... <laughs> They would have found all the cell phone them. Because people usually hide their secrets in deep places. Can I, can, I, can I talk to somebody tonight? There are some people who have secrets hid deep down in their phones. Hello. That's why some people cannot put down their phone anyway. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. That is why at the end of the day, some people, they, can't, they cannot expose their phone to people. You know there are husbands and wives and there are people in the house who don't have passwords for phone and all kind of thing? Well, Pastor Gittins, I don't know about people. But for me, you see this phone here? 
I want to make sure if something happens to me, that if it's one person who can't open this phone, it's my wife. I, 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 am I talking to you? I make sure if it's one person can open this phone here, that at the end of the day, is my wife can open that phone here. And at the end of the day, she should be able to open my phone and not see anything to jeopardize the marriage. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? But some people have all kind of lock folder and lock this and dig it deep down inside. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you, some of the darkest secrets that people have is deep down in their phone. Anybody knows what I'm talking about? They are deep down in their phone. Sometimes to make it through certain things in your life, you have to dig deep. Anybody still with me? Sometimes when you feel like giving up and throwing in the towel, you have to dig deep and find a way to make it to the end. Has anybody gone through some hard things in life? I wish somebody could testify, man. Some of us afraid to testify, but some of us have gone through hell and back. <laughs> Some challenging situations. Sometimes it's a loss of a relative. Sometimes it's betrayal, a broken heart. And sometimes you feel like giving up. But you have to find a strength that you never knew you had before. But I thank God that even in your lowest time, you can still find strength in Jesus Christ. Am I talking truth under the tent in the house of the Lord? I'm still happy that God still goes deep. Our foundational text tonight comes from 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 1 to 4. 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 1 to 4. Everybody read with me. Everybody it says, And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and withal how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Verse 2. And Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me and more also if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. That's a bad woman. Verse 3. And when he saw that he arose and went for his life and came to Bathsheba, which belongeth to Judah, and left his servant there. Verse 4. Frightening. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat under a juniper tree and he requested for himself that he must that he might die and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father. Elijah, the man of God, just came from Mount Carmel, slain 850 prophets and seen the hand of God work mightily and, and fire coming down from heaven. Elijah was on a high physically. He was on a high spiritually. Everything was going well. And the Bible says that after the victory in Mount Carmel, that Ahab went to his wife Jezebel and said, Jezebel, Elijah just kill all them fellas there and mash everybody up. And Jezebel got vexed and she sent a message to Elijah. Elijah and said so the gods do that to me and more if I do not kill you by tomorrow about this time and the Bible says Elijah moved from a place of power to a place of fear anybody still home tonight oh the night to the word for night tonight is for us tell somebody next to you the word is for you tonight I tell somebody the word is for you tonight neighbor the word is for you and tell him back to her because it's for me too. <laughs> Elijah had the success story, Pastor Gittens. Everything was going well for Elijah. But one woman opened her mouth and said, I will kill you by tomorrow. And the man moved from victory to being suicidal immediately. Talk to me, talk to me now, talk to me. The same man who did so. Elijah had just come from the mountaintop experience. He had manifested himself in a mighty way through his leadership. The man of God had just called fire from heaven. He was on a spiritual high and he was feared and respected. He was on cloud nine spiritually. Sometimes when we are having the best spiritual experience, the enemy sends a Jezebel to shake our faith. Oh, can I say that again? Can I say that again? I said sometimes when you are having your best spiritual experience, the enemy sends a Jezebel to shake your faith. Have you ever gone to the point that you've been doing well and then one situation comes into your life and shakes the very foundation that you're standing on? 
I wish somebody could testify. You know, sometimes uh, we paint a perfect story and make people believe that we always have it locked down. But have you ever gone to the point in your life uh, that you felt like giving up? You felt like no one was on your side. You felt like life was not worth living. You felt that you were a failure. You felt that everybody had let you down. But thank God, if you have been there, God's people have been there too. And every one of us goes through a point of failure. A place where we feel hurt and broken and downtrodden. A place where we feel it's like no one, where like we feel like no one is on our side. Elijah killed hundreds of prophets, but one Jezebel sent him into panic mode. The devil knows your number. I said the devil knows your number. <laughs> no matter how strong you are, the devil knows your number. <laughs> Satan knows the Jezebel in your life. It could be an ex. The lotto. The neighbor. The boss. That hot girl down the road. The special touch. The WhatsApp message. That pornography website. Satan knows your number. Yesterday, I went down to Grenville. And I met a lady in the place and she said, somebody said, Pastor, how are you doing? And she said, you're a pastor. I said, yes, I'm a pastor. She said, Pastor, pray for me. And everybody's there and she's talking for everybody to her. I said, what's your problem? She said, Pastor, there's a thing called blast. I said, I said blast? Why is blast? I can't even think. She said, no, Pastor. And she pulled me out and told me, look the building right there. I said, so what is blast? But I saw NLA, so I said, National Lotteries authority something about something. She's a pastor like a casino. And she's a pastor sometime I want to walk away from this thing and he keep pulling me back. She said, pastor, I go and I win at $3,000 and I go back and I spend $5,000 trying to make more money. And no matter what I try to do, no matter how much salary I make, and I try to put the money aside and say, I'm not going there. As long as I reach in Grenville, it's like it's something grabbed me by my hand and dragged me. She said, pastor, it's so bad that the workers have to try to kick me out of the place. And I said to her, why, why? Just don't come Grenville. <laughs> I said, and when you come to Grenville, I make sure people with you. And they drag you everywhere you have to go to. You're not going. She said, pastor, people, let's try and let's beat them. And even if I know they're doing what is right for me, pastor, the addiction is so strong that I don't know what to do. And I said, sister, the best I can do for you is pray for you. And I said to her, let me tell you something. I am a pastor. It made something wrong what I'm going to tell you because a pastor should not be telling you that. But at the end of the day, I know how tough an addiction is. I said, so how much time do you um, go to, to blast? She said, every single time I get a go in there. I said, well, what I want you to do, start go twice a month. <laughs> Then go once a month. <laughs> then go once every three months. <laughs> then don't go again. <laughs> Gradual. And some of you watching me and saying, Pastor, how could you tell the woman that tell her stop one time? I said, some of us in church for 20 years and doing the same thing over and over and over again. Hey, 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 hey. Can I preach? Can I preach? Can I preach the of the living God? And that's why Pastor Elvis and Pastor Hila has got vexed with some of our church people, you know, because some of them in church saying they love the Lord and doing all kind of foolishness. And when someone comes to the Lord, they expect them to get perfect one time. They expect them to have everything done, locked down one time. Let me tell you something. Even the Bible says that the path of the just is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. Every day that you live, you get better. Hey, some of you are not ready for this message yet tonight. I said, some people are not ready for this message yet tonight. Some of us are too hypocritical. We expect people to get perfect one time and expect them to have everything one time. And we still hate our neighbor and we still cussing people and we still doing this and doing that. At the end of the day, pray for somebody and help them to get better and get on the way that God wants them to get to. Hey, talk to me, talk to me. Elijah is running away and going through his darkest place. He is running away from his calling and his purpose. But God does not give up on him. Hey, talk to me, talk to me, no man. You know, you know, when I was come to realize, some people get give up on you easily. Talk to me, no man. I said, some people come give up on you easily. 
as soon as you make one mistake, they're done with you. As soon as you let them down one time, they give up on you. As soon as you make a mistake, they're ready to pull you down. But I thank God, even while we are struggling, God still loves us. Oh, somebody give God some praise tonight, no man. I wish somebody could glorify the name of the Lord tonight. No matter how bad we are, as long as we are trying to get to where God wants us to be, he reaches out and he blesses us and he gives us second chances. I thank God for grace. Hey, the man of God is suicidal. The man of God is in a broken place. The man of God is in a dark place. But the Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 5 to 7. The Bible says, and as he lay and slept under the, 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 uh, under, under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, arise. Somebody help me preach this thing. I said, arise. Hey. And eat. Verse 6. I come in there. And he looked and behold, there was a cake baked. Baking on the coals. And a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. Verse 7. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time. And touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. No, no, ooh, I gotta come close down for this one. I said, I gotta come close for this one. Pastor Gittens, Pastor Hilaire, the Bible says that Elijah was running from God. Running from his purpose, running from his calling, running from all his, 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 his old job as a prophet. The man is running, the man is suicidal. But the Bible says while he's sleeping on the, the, the juniper tree, the same place where he asked God to take his life, his darkest point, the angel of the Lord found him. Hey, talk to me, man. Talk to me, man. I said, talk to him now. Talk to me now, man. God does not only love you while you are doing good. God also loves you while you are struggling. Help me preach. Put your hands together for Jesus, the man. I say, even in your darkest times, even in your lonely times, even when you are down in the ditch, God still goes deep and he reaches you in your darkest place. Somebody shout hallelujah to the Lord. Watch it. But watch the big point. The bombshell coming. The angel met Elijah. And the angel did not tell the man one thing. The only thing the angel said. Get up. Eat. And drink. Woke him up again. Eat. And drink. When I watched that I said my God that's a lesson. I said that is a lesson. Because the angel didn't tell him, why are you running for? The angel didn't try to condemn him and try to pull him down. The angel recognized that the man is in a dark place. And the only thing I want the man to do is to survive the dark place. Woo! You've not seen it, you've not seen it, you've not seen it. Let me come back again, let me come back again. There are some people, when, when they go down in their lowest point, they don't, they're afraid to call people. Because when people come, the only thing, how you find yourself there? You should know better than that. How could you be suicidal? How could you be so dark? How could you be so broken? God is not concerned about that in the initial state. God says the man is hungry, I'm going to feed him. After he eats food, and after he drinks water, and after he gets this rest, then we can talk about what he is doing in that position. Talk to me, man. Talk to me, man. Talk to me, man. That's why when you see people in a dark place, you have to know when to talk to them and how to talk to them. Because at the end of the day, we can do more damage than good when somebody is going through a dark point. We need to work with them and take care of their physical needs before we talk about their spiritual needs. Woo! Huh. Some of us want to play Jesus. We want to play God. We, we just want to condemn people. Play Holy Spirit. We can't look past the person's brokenness. But the angel said, boss man, Elijah, we're not even talking about that. And, but but the, the ironic thing, Pastor Hille, is that the angel is feeding the man to run. 
Because the angel said, eat again. Because where you running too far. So because you're running far, I want you to survive. Even the runaway. No, no, no. Oh, this thing's sweet. Pastor Bowens, people may believe that God was giving the man the strength to run away. But no. God was just giving the man the strength to survive. Because God wanted to make sure when he gets to the point that he needs me, I will make sure I am there to bring him back. Oh, somebody give God some praise today, no man. Somebody give God some praise tonight, no man. Let me tell you something. That's what I love about God, you know. I say that's what I love about God. That's why I tell people I will never give up on God. Because even when church members give up on you, even when family members give up on you, when people can't understand why you find yourself in that dark place and they're ready to abandon you and leave you, God will in no wise cast you out. God will never leave you nor forsake you. In your darkest point, he will find you. Hey, somebody. Help me preach somebody. God feeds Elijah even when he's running from him. He takes care of his needs even when he has abandoned his post. God works things out for him even when he is in his darkest place. Watch the bomb shall know. Your condition does not limit God's provision. Help me preach the thing. I said your condition does not limit God's provision. Even at your lowest point, God still reaches there. Hey, somebody. That's why I tell people, no matter how broken you are, there is hope and strength in Jesus. I said no matter how broken you are, there is still hope in Jesus. Somebody came to this tent tonight broken and hopeless, but I came to let you know that God still goes deep. I said God still goes deep. If you don't believe me, Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 and 29 says, Isaiah chapter 40, 28 and 29, Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the God, the Lord of the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching in his understanding. I love the next verse. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he give, he increaseth. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, help me tonight. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. I came to tell somebody at Megafest tonight that if you're in a broken place, in a hopeless place, in a fainting place, you are in the right place for God to do something mighty in your life. Somebody claim it and say, thank you, Jesus. Watch it now. What a God tonight. Elijah leaves and goes into a cave. Hey, deep in a cave. First Kings chapter 19 and verse 9. First Kings 19 and verse 9. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him and said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? <laughs> <laughs> huh. when God found him under, under the juniper tree he said nothing about that think of it when he was found under the juniper tree nothing was said to him about what are you doing there because God understood the man had some mental needs that had, it, that had to be sorted out he had some physical needs that needed to be taken care of so before I tell him about his calling, I have to make sure that there is some food in his stomach. I have to make sure mentally he's okay. Some of us do more harm. I said some of us do more harm than good. Because when people are in a vulnerable place, instead of encouraging them, we condemn them. And some people may never come to the church because they feel it is a place of judgment, not a place of grace. Don't get me wrong, judgment is real. And at the end of the day, punishment is real. But God is also God of, God of mercy and grace. If I'm talking truth, somebody say amen. 
Hey, watch it now. God came to the man and said, Elijah, what are you doing here? Watch it now. He goes deep into a cave, but God finds him in his darkest and deepest place. Watch it. I am grateful tonight, brothers and sisters, that God still goes in dark places. And God only had one question for him. What are you doing here, Elijah? Tonight, God is asking somebody, what are you doing in this situation? What are you doing in this relationship? What are you doing in the fat plane job job? What are you doing in that bed? What are you doing scrolling on that website? What are you doing at the back of the tent? What are you doing in that vehicle? What are you doing by the beach? What are you doing in that house? What are you doing in your room? What are you doing there? Some of us have found ourselves in places that we never thought we'd have ever been in life. Anybody home? I say, anybody home? Tonight the sermon is real. I said, tonight the sermon is real. I know some of us will, some of us are cringing in our seats, but let me tell you something. We have all found ourselves in places that we should not have been. And tonight somebody's in a dark place and God is saying to you, what are you doing here? I have something better in store for you. Anybody with me in the house of the Lord? And the Bible says, and the Bible says, First Kings chapter 19, verses 11, 12, and 15. The Bible says, and he said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. I said, the Lord passed by. Oh, you didn't hear me? You didn't hear me? I said, the Lord passed by. I said, the Lord passed by. Some of you may not see what I'm seeing, but let me tell you something. The man was in his darkest place, but God still passed by. The man was in a period of brokenness, but God still passed by. Tell somebody next to you, God is passing by tonight. Tell somebody under the tent that God is passing by. You've been coming to Mega Fest night after night. You've been hearing the voice of God. God is saying, I've seen your dark place. I've seen your brokenness. I've seen your life in struggle. I've seen the mess that you're in. I've seen how your life is spinning around in circles. And I want to have a conversation with you. Stand. And the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. Put the next verse there for me. I love it. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small Hey, somebody help me preach the thing tonight, no man. God did not talk to the man with fire. God did not come and shake up the whole man's life. God came with the man with a still, small voice. Say, Elijah, let us talk about this. Elijah, let us have a conversation about this. I know you have been broken, but let me talk to you. I know that you are weak, but let me talk to you. I know you are suicidal, but let me talk to you. I know that your life is in a mess, but let me talk to you. I know that man broke your heart, but let me talk to you. I know that storms are gathering in your life, but let me talk to you. I know the pain is great, but let me talk to you. I know you want to give up, but let me talk to you. I know that you fed up, but let me talk to you. I know you don't feel motivated, but let me talk to you. I'm still happy tonight that God talks to people who are broken. Hallelujah. Watch it now. I love the last verse, verse 15. The Bible says, And the Lord said unto him, Go and return to on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest, anoint Hazael to be king over Syria. Ha. Ha. Woo. 
the thing sweet. The, God did not even mash up the man. God didn't even pull the man up. God only asked him, what are you doing there? Because God understood. Hear me now, hear me now. God understood that the man was in a place that he did not belong. Oh, somebody better see what I'm seeing tonight. You see, you may be in the cave, but you are not a caveman. Oh, help me preach this thing. Help me preach it. I said you may be in the cave, but you are not a caveman. You may be in the bed, but you are not a prostitute. <laughs> help me preach the thing, man. You may be in the have a rum bottle in your hand, but you are more than a drunkard. Different man may have passed and had sex with you, but you are not promiscuous. God is saying to you, you are better than that. Because the blood of Jesus still runs through your veins. And you are more than your mistakes. You are more than your shortcomings. You are more than the sins that you have committed. You are more than the times that you have failed and fell by the wayside. God is saying to you, it is time to take your rightful place. Arise and get back to where you are supposed to be. God went deep to show the man, get up from where you are. You are better than this. You are better than where you are now. I came to tell somebody under this tent and outside the tent, you are better than where you are right now. You are worth more than the position that you are in. And let me tell you something, God sees. I said God sees. He sees the tears that you have cried. He sees the times you've been depressed. He sees the time that you laugh with your friends and you celebrate. But when you by yourself, you feel broken and empty. And you feel like no one is on your side. He sees the times that you have to cry yourself to sleep. And hide yourself when people are not there to cry by yourself. And you smile in the face of people. But deep down, you are broken on the inside. And God is saying, they don't know, but I know. And I came to tell you by the power of the living God. What are you doing here? Get up. Bounce your neighbor. Tell him get up. You are better than where you are right now. You are stronger than that situation. You are bigger than that broken heart. You are bigger than the sins that you have committed. God wants to go deep to bring you out of that cave and grant you everlasting life. If you believe that somebody shout hallelujah in the house of the Lord tonight. And let me tell you, and when God goes deep, he will not come out without you. I say when God goes deep, he will not come out without you. He will ensure that he does everything to get you out. Oh, somebody help me preach. Help me preach this thing. Help me preach this thing tonight. And God went deep for Elijah. He said, boss man, I am not going to allow the good you do. Be overshadowed by the fact that you are in a dark place. What well, you see? God saw Elijah when other people see conditions. You know, whew, I could bring this on. Oh. What I love about God is people see you through the eyes of your mistakes, but God sees your value through his image. So when people see your brokenness, God sees how valuable you are because he shed his blood for you. And no one can go too far that the blood of Jesus cannot reach you. Oh, somebody put your hands together for the blood of Jesus Christ. That's why the blood still reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. Somebody show hallelujah. The blood that gives me strength. From day to day, it will never ever lose its power. Tonight God is saying to somebody, it's time to come out of where you are. It is time to come from your dark place and get into the place that God wants you to be. 
God says, no matter how far you have gone, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is saying to somebody tonight, I know you are far, but I can reach you where you are. Mm -mm -mm. Tonight, if you want to say, Lord, thank you for looking for me, just wave your hands, wave your hands. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes for this place. It's a holy place. The Spirit of God is in this place. On the outside, on the inside. And before I pray, I want to add my voice. I cannot be here every night to do commitments. But I lift up this campaign night and day. But while I have the mic, let me join the evangelists and all the pastors, all the Bible workers who have been speaking to you. Let me ask you by the grace of God, let me appeal to you, those of you who need to surrender to Jesus Christ, do it now. I rode from Grenville to this place tonight, and I, on my way I stopped talking to a number of people, and people sense that the end is near. People are heavy, people are burdened. I wish that those persons who I spoke to, they are outside of the domain of this crusade, they could have gotten a ride or something pastor Brent to be here to hear the message tonight and surrender we have no excuse tonight let us surrender let us bow our heads as we pray it might just be the last let us pray great God of the universe we magnify your name in this place tonight because you are God and there is none like you we thank you for the victories we have gained tonight all in the name of Jesus. For in the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, there is deliverance. In the name of Jesus, there is healing. In the name of Jesus, there is salvation. And so tonight, we praise your majestic name. Oh God, we thank you and we praise you for using Evangelist Saint Jean in such a powerful way. The word of God has gone forth far and wide around this place. Even on the times, on the Sabbaths, when it is streamed, people have heard the word of God. We are left without any excuse. And tonight, oh God, we pray that the spirit of God will move again and again and still again and again. Because there are people to be saved in this area. Oh God, we pray that you break these chains that hold on your people. That you break the idols that keep your people where they are. That you loose them from the circumstances and you set them free in the name of Jesus. For who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. People need to be free tonight, oh God. We pray that you give the devil one more jab, one more punch, one more kick and defeat him in the name of Jesus. That people will be loose and will be set free, oh God. Take charge of the place and beat back the evil one beat back his aims from around this place and help people to come with tears with broken heart with contrite spirit come and give their lives to Jesus now right now oh God we thank you to know that you go deep deep where others cannot see where others don't know deep where our secrets are buried you go deep where we are lying down, we are lonely, deep. Where we are hurting, you go deep. And oh God, you reach down, you touch us, you, you, you hold us, you feed us, you embrace us. Tonight we give you praise for going deep and rescuing us. Nobody here should be lost tonight. You are not concerned about our past. You are concerned about the direction we are moving Help men and women, even boys and girls, to move in your direction and you will save them. We thank you for those who have responded positively tonight. Tonight, oh God, give them the victory. Yes, there will be struggles. Yes, somebody might be telling them, don't go. Some voice might be speaking, but we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And we pray that you give them the victory. 
There are those who have come in the second call. They still need to surrender. Oh God, before they leave this place, may they see Pastor Brent, see myself, see Pastor Lyons here, one of the Bible workers, Pastor Geetons, Pastor Boyne, see a preacher and say, I want to surrender to Jesus Christ. For tonight it might be the last for some people. Oh God, tonight there are those who have come because they need a breakthrough. Many issues, many challenges, break through Jesus, come through for them in a mighty way. But ere they leave this place, they will know that God still answers prayer. God, we want to lift up the communities of Rosehill and River Sally. Lord, it's my understanding. I was not wrong, but it's my understanding that there have been some mothers close by this place. Some upheavals in, in, in violence. Not only here, but around Grenada. Oh God, what is going on? Save our young people. But we bring these communities before you in a very special way. And we pray, oh God, that you will stem the tide of violence. That you will help our young people to recognize that you have great plans for them. The evil one is seeking to destroy them. But we rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Bless, oh God, and comfort the hurting families. Save your people. And tonight, oh God, as we come down to the end of Mega Fest, we pray that every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, every person reaching who is hearing tonight, they will yield themselves to Jesus Christ and be ready for his second coming. Thank you dear father for hearing us. Thank you for granting us fine weather tonight. Thank you oh God and we place the remaining nights of this meeting in your care. Something grand, something big, something exciting is about to happen within a few days. Help people to come out oh God and help them to surrender. So that as we prepare to leave from this place and we go in peace, rejoicing and praising your name. Oh God, go with us. Travel with us. Grant us, oh God, traveling mercies. Keep us throughout the night. Make our sleep sweet and restful because we are laid it down at the hand of Jesus. And then, oh God, wake us up on the morrow so that as we go through, watch our going out and our coming in. And bring people here tomorrow night in the hundreds, in the air, in the thousands to hear the proclamation of your word and to surrender to Jesus Christ. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, and we give you the glory. Let everybody say, Amen and Amen. Him. In all the nations, in all the 